Hi, I'm Marissa Kozlov. Welcome back for another eMarketer Industry Voices, where we bring you perspectives on how marketers are working through challenges and what they envision for the future. Joining me today is Alex Matos, Marketing Director at Nirvana Water Sciences. Alex, nice to see you today. Excited to be here, Marissa. Thanks for having me. Alex, Nirvana Water Sciences entered the market last spring and is positioned as a functional water. What does that mean? And what sets Nirvana apart from its competitors? Well, as you know, Marissa, the functional water space has overwhelmingly grown in the past three or four years. Uh, we're coming in as a, as a defining uh, functional water with our H&B infused spring water. A lot of people are not familiar with H&B. There's a lot of science behind it, a lot of clinical studies and research behind it as well. H&B stands for beta hydroxy beta methylbutyrate. And what H&B does is it boosts muscle performance, it reduces muscle recovery, and it slows muscle degradation. Well, the addition of HMB is sure to attract a very different type of customer. Tell us more about your target audience and which marketing channels have worked best to reach them. Well, we have a tagline at Nirvana Water Sciences that says we are for everybody and everybody. So we're not singing it out any single demographic. Um, we feel like everybody in the family could enjoy our infused uh, spring water. Some of the channels that are working for us recently are Instagram, Facebook. We're doing a lot of Instagram content and having our professional athletes using them and leveraging them to create that content and communicate h &B in a more cooler, simpler way for our consumers to actually engage with. And we're actually going into some TikTok content as well uh, moving forward. You mentioned working with athletes. Tell me more about your influencer marketing strategy. So our influencer marketing strategy um, relies heavily on our professional elite roster of athletes. We have NBA founder investor Kyle Lowry on our team, and he's leading the way with helping us leverage content, educate our consumers, and bring the word out on h &B and our infused beverage lines. Let's now talk about your retail strategy. Bottled water is often something that's bought on the go. And for a new brand like Nirvana on an already crowded shelf, how do you build brand loyalty and retention? Yes, so we're currently on the education and awareness phase for Nirvana Water Sciences. So we need to get bottles in people's hands. You know, this is through demos at retail, through event activations, through work at trade shows and, and just consumer based events where we could potentially get in front of the consumer. We're working on some retailer promos and promotions that, you know, will create that loyalty for us um, in store, uh, whether it's a coupon program or um, you know, a digital coupon program that would drive the consumer into the actual store and pick up our brand and give us a second trial, not just the first trial. Um, we want to create that repeat buyer um, and create that loyalty for our retailers. It's great that you're able to do that now. So many brands have said that over the past two years, the ability to sample has really been something that's been missing. So it's great to be out there and in front of people and getting those bottles into their hands. Where does your D2C channel come into play? D2C is a priority for us. Right now, we're, you know, we're working on establishing a strong D2C site with simple customer experience and just having that drive our business on e -com. We're also on Amazon as well as Walmart Marketplace. How do you work with Amazon and Walmart to build brand recognition? So we currently have a subscribe and save program with Amazon that has been going great for us. That's another strategy for us building loyalty through Amazon and also Walmart Marketplace. We're doing great too. It just gives us two separate channels of two different audiences that are buying their products online. And I think that for us, it's built some awareness, some trial, and also some loyalty there. Retail media is also something that's becoming much more popular. How is retail media helping to inspire purchases? Retail media has been great for us. We've been able to work with some retailers and, and, and do some geo, you know, geo targeting and some geofencing um, advertising with them. And they've, they've loved the data that has come back from it and the results. And in return, we're getting more people to walk into stores and making sure that when we weren't sampling live, we could potentially get that digital field marketing is what I like to call it and get our customers into the stores to purchase. It's clear that buying online has become much more popular. How has Nirvana had to reimagine its in-store presence? Well, it's made us rethink a lot. Um, a lot of our, uh, you know, a lot of our waters and our SKUs and our portfolio could live in different places within the retailer. For example, our h and infused water could possibly live in the sports drink aisle, or it could also live in the supplements aisle, and you could also have it in the water aisle. So it gives us three points of interaction with the consumer. Seems like you have a lot of opportunity to be in multiple aisles within each retail location, which is even more visibility for the brand. Tell us what's next for Nirvana Water Sciences. We're launching uh, h and plus D3 in Q1, which we are really excited about, and we feel like that's going to be one of the most defining SKUs in the water category, uh, as well as, you know, obviously sponsorships and uh, activations where we are able, where we're going to be able to put the brand in people's hands and um, just have people sample our product as much as we possibly can.
Sounds excellent. Well, Alec, thank you so much for being with us today. It was so nice to speak with you. And thank you for sharing all of these great stories and all that's next for Nirvana. Thank you for having me, Marissa. It was a pleasure being here. And thanks to all of you for tuning into Industry Voices. We'll see you soon. Thank you.